Welcome to day 29 of my 31 days Pilates series Revival 2021. My name is Annie and welcome to my channel Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. It's gonna be a lovely core endurance, spinal stability, longer holds, isometric workout. So it's gonna be a slow pace but longer workout to challenge your core endurance and strength. So get your mat ready and join me and Mr. Abel. Okay, my friends, we'll start lying on your back as you exhale slow and easy, going down to the mat. We're going to start warming up our core muscles with deep breathing. So we're going to make sure you're engaging them. So we'll start bending your left knee to tabletop and then right hand opposite side pointing to the ceiling as you exhale. And inhale, lower it down all the way down and hand overhead. And then switch it up with your right knee bent, left hand pointing to the ceiling. Warming up our body is a great way to slowly go through the deeper workout. So you're not going to strain your neck and back. And your core muscles are well engaged. So left knee, right hand, exhale down. Then right knee, left hand pointing to the ceiling, and then exhale down. We have five more doing this. Inhale, exhale. Squeezing your core in to engage your core muscles more, keeping your back in neutral spine. Two more to go. Left knee, right hand. Right hand, left knee. Last set. Now we're going to transition with both knees bending. So bend both knees up, double tabletop. As you inhale, and then slowly lift your hands pointing to the ceiling to challenge your core. As you inhale, slowly go down all the way down to extension, and then hands overhead. This is difficult on your back still. You can just gently tap both feet on the mat with your knees bent and then go up. But for those who want to challenge now is day 29, slowly extend all the way down while your hands are overhead. So inhale, bend your knees to tabletop, hands pointing to the ceiling. As you exhale, slowly go down to extension, holding that core in. Inhale, bend, exhale down. Seven more. Inhale. Exhale. Squeezing your core in to protect your back. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Two. Last one. And then hold it in this position, in double tabletop position, while your hands pointing to the ceiling. Now we're going to slowly extend one knee at a time, alternating left and right. If this is too difficult for your back, you can place your hands on the side of the mat to support your spine as you extend one knee at a time. Inhale, exhale. Squeezing your core in. And for those who want to challenge, keep your hands pointing to the ceiling. Four more. Extend and bend. Lengthen. Reach your knees. As much as you can to extend. Last one. Gently. With both knees now. Extending all the way up. Challenge your core and then bend. As you extend, I want you to gently lift your hands and your shoulders off the mat. And as you bend, slowly lower your shoulders and hands pointing again to the ceiling. So exhale, lift. Hands overhead. Extend your knees. Inhale back in. Pointing to the ceiling. Both knees back to the double tabletop. Inhale. Exhale, extend and lift your shoulders, hands overhead. 
Exhale back to bend low and easy. Take a deep breath. So when you exhale, you can lift and then back to bending. Exhale. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. And uh, gently arms out to the side to stretch your chest muscles. And we're gonna do a gentle trunk spinal twist. So slowly lower both knees on one side and slowly turn your head on the opposite side. Inhale back to the center and twist to the opposite side, turn your head to the opposite. Inhale back to the center and twist to the opposite side. Two more to go. Inhale and then exhale, twist. Feel so good on your back. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Now gently, we are going to lift both legs up again to double tabletop, gently extend one leg and slowly reach forward to challenge your core. So I'm lifting, reaching towards my foot. And as I exhale, exchange it, keeping my core engaged. <sighs> Left and right with your hands pointing towards your feet. <sighs> right knee extend, stretch. Left knee extend, stretch. With your breathing, feel your abdominal muscles working hard as you lift your shoulders off the mat. Two more. Last one. Slowly lower your head down, hands overhead, while your knees are still bent in the double tabletop position. Now gently, you're going to slowly open your knees out to a butterfly stretch. Inhale, and then gently reach over with your hands to the side. As you exhale, slowly place your knees back together, close it, and then hands overhead, straight with your elbows. So as you inhale, you exhale, slowly open your knees out. As you slowly lower your hands, tapping both knees, and inhale back again to the center, bending your knees while gently placing your hands overhead. So we have eight more of these. And bend and close and reach. Open your knees, slowly tap your hands to the side. Feel that lovely stretch. Pulling your belly button in to engage your core. Inhale, exhale, overhead reach, and close your knees back to the center, squeezing your core in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, going back up, squeeze your knees together, hands overhead. And exhale as you open. Two more to go. Knees together. And exhale as you open. Last set. Inhale. Close your knees together. Hands overhead. As you exhale, open. Now we're going to slowly progress. To extend both knees while you're Knees are open for a V stretch. And then bend your knees again back to butterfly position as you go your hands overhead and close your knees. So we're gonna do the same movement except we're progressing. As we open your knees out, slowly extend your knees to a V stretch and then bend back again to the center to close your knees together again. Inhale. Exhale, extend your knees to further challenge your core. 
inhale back center and overhead again same rhythm with your breath work this time you extend further and breathe out and inhale as you close it five more inhale close overhead four more Toes pointing away, plantar flex your ankle to challenge your core more. Feel your core and abdominal muscles working hard now. Slow and control, mind body awareness. Two more to go, inhale, exhale open and challenge by lifting your shoulders off the mat as you bend and overhead, exhale. Last one. Open, extend and lift your shoulders. Inhale, back center, exhale down. Great job, my friends. Now extending your knees, we're gonna do roll up. So roll up is squeezing your core in. Slowly lift your shoulders off the mat, slow and easy. Going up one vertebrae at a time. As you're fully extended, you wanna make sure your spine is straight to slowly lower your hips forward to hip hinge, not rounding your shoulder for a forward fold. Keeping your back straight as you slowly lengthen your spine, chin tuck. As you slowly go down one vertebrae at a time, Inhale, squeeze your core in, slowly roll up. Sitting up straight once you reach up, gently forward fold, exhale. Inhale, sitting up, chin tuck, as you slowly go down one vertebrae at a time. Overhead with your hands, squeezing your core in. Exhale up. Roll up easy. And now we're gonna slowly progress. As you forward fold, with one foot up off the mat to roll down to challenge one side of your core. As you go down, slowly point your toes to the ceiling, hands overhead. So this is the starting point. If you can't do this yet, just continue with a simple roll up. As you inhale, squeeze your core in, roll up. So it's a little bit more challenging. So you roll up with one leg, then forward fold. And as you go down, we're gonna switch it up. This time I'm gonna lift my right foot up and slowly roll down with your chin tuck, one vertebrae at a time, slowly pulling yourself up toes pointing to the ceiling to 90 degrees, hands overhead. Inhale, roll up again with your right foot up. And as you're fully sitting up, slowly go, reach to your feet for forward fold. Sit up straight again, chin tuck. As you exhale, lift your left foot this time to roll down while slowly pointing your left foot towards the ceiling. Inhale, and exhale up. Challenge your core endurance. Reach for your toes, gentle forward fold. Inhale, sitting up, chin tuck. Lift your right foot this time. As you roll down one vertebrae at a time, exhale, pointing to the ceiling. Last set, inhale, roll up. Sitting up straight, reaching for your toes, and hold that forward fold for five deep breaths. Good 
last deep breath okay my friends now we're gonna slowly place your hands behind you sitting up straight and from this position we're gonna slowly lift one foot up knee straight and cross over to the other leg and then out back outside of the mat so we're gonna do a crossover hip flexion side to side hip sweep so we want to make sure you engage your core as you tap to the opposite and back out squeezing your core in lift and opposite side and keeping your back straight as you cross over four more three two and one great job my friends now we're going to switch it up and scooting away from abel i don't want to accidentally tap his face okay my friends now with your toes away i'm going to lift my right foot now up and cross over and then out of the mat to the side keeping my back straight engaging my core cross over and out five four three two and one now gently bend your knees we're gonna do hip thrust with your knee bent and on your hands so it's like a plank a reverse plank so you're gonna lift your hips off the mat and hold that position squeezing your core in looking up straight as you inhale and exhale squeezing your core in inhale and exhale feel the stretch on your shoulders as well to challenge now we're going to slowly challenge more by extending one leg at a time alternating so left and back to knee bend and then right and switch it up keeping that lift on your hips four more three keeping that hips up those hip muscles high and engage core engage last one And now, with this position, extending one leg, we're gonna do straight leg raise up, toes pointing away and down. We'll do this 10 times on your left first, keeping that those hips up, engage. Seven more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, now switch it up this time with your right knee extended, lifting your hips off the mat as you lift your right foot up and down. Seven more, six, five, lift and down, stretch it out. Two and one. Now slowly lower your hips down to the mat and rest your arms, hug your knees, to forward fold with your knees bent to stretch your back and your shoulders sitting up straight again with your knees bent slowly open your arms out to the side to stretch your shoulders and turning your head at the same time as you inhale exhale back center keeping your back straight pulling your core in now switch it up to the other side to stretch your shoulders and your neck and exhale back center inhale open exhale center last set and last one and last one towards the right and back center now place both hands behind your head to stretch your chest muscles more so as you look up 
with your knees bent, hold that position, stability of your spine, as I said earlier. Slowly twist on one side as you inhale and exhale back center. So even keeping this position is a challenge. As long as you're not rounding your shoulder, keeping your back straight is already a core workout as well. And then twist to the opposite side and exhale back center. Inhale, twist, exhale center. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Last set. Slow and easy as you twist. Keeping your back straight. And down. Now with the cross-legged position and sitting up, stretching your spine, placing your hands behind you, pointing away and slowly look up and open your chest, stretching your neck and your back. And then exhale, relax. Two more, inhale. Open your chest, squeeze your core in and relax. Last one, inhale and exhale. Gently place your hands forward, extending your knees to all fours position. And from this position, we're gonna start engaging your core. Let's do a cat and camel by rounding your shoulders, making sure your hands are leveled with your shoulders and your hips are leveled with your knees. Hands apart, knees apart, squeezing your core in, pelvic curl in. As you exhale, slowly extending your back and slowly looking up. Inhale, round your shoulders, tucking your pelvis in. And exhale, looking up. Round your shoulders, pelvic in, curl, look at your belly button as you round, extending all the way to your neck, looking down to stretch. And then slowly look up as you arch your low back. Exhale. Four more. Round your shoulders in. Inhale. Exhale, looking up. Three more to go. This was a lovely stretch for you. For anyone with stiff spine. Exhale up. Two more to go round your shoulders. Pelvic tuck in. Exhale up. Last one. Inhale in. And exhale up. Grab the mat with your toes. We're going to do bear plank. So bear plank is a gentle lift of both knees with your knee bent, hovering off the mat and hold it in that position. Core endurance isometrics. We'll hold this in five deep breaths. Last deep breath and slowly lower it down. This time we're going back again to a bear plank, but we're gonna hover and shift our body weight, body weight forward and backward. So lift your knees, bear plank, and hover forward and back 10 times. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Slowly lower it down. The next transition for bear plank is we're gonna lift back to bear plank and extending one leg at a time, one knee at a time, alternating, and we'll do that 10 times. So as you lift for bear plank, exhale, extend one leg, back to bear plank, and then extend the opposite leg. Nine more. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Lower your knees down and gently go down to a child pose to rest your shoulders and wrists. Release all the tension off your fingers and your wrists as you exhale. And rest your head down all the way to the mat. Okay, my friends, back to your hands and knees position. Whew, that was a nice rest break. Back to your hands and knees as we slowly lift to a downward dog. So grab the mat with your toes to lift your hips and extending your knee. And gently pedal your ankles left and right to stretch your hamstrings. As you inhale and exhale. Now gently press both heels down now towards the mat to further stretch your, them, your calves and your hamstrings. And now gently tip your toes, lift your heels off the mat, challenge your calf muscles and exhale down all the way pressing your heel down to the mat. And we'll do that nine more to go. Lift your heels, tip your toes, challenge your toe strength as well as try to do toe work. Seven more. Exhale down. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. We're almost done. And one. And this time we're going to challenge with single leg downward dog, lifting your foot all the way up. And then tap your knee towards the same elbow, same side. And then lift up to single leg downward dog, starting with my left, and then tapping towards my left elbow. Eight more to go, we'll do it ten times. We'll lift, core engage, exhale, tap your elbow to knee. Seven more. Lift and stretch. Exhale, tap your knee to your elbow. Lift and stretch. Tap. Four more. Three. Downward dog, single leg. Two. And one. Now switch it up this time. Shift your body weight to the left. Lift your right leg up. Toes pointing away as you tap your right knee towards your right elbow. Exhale. Lift to inhale. Exhale, tap. Eight more. Lift. Exhale, tap. Knee to elbow. Lift and stretch. Six more. Five. Four. Try to press your hands down the mat. Feel the ground with your arms. Two more. Last one. And then down the mat to rest your wrist for child pose and rest. Five deep breaths. Okay, my friends, now lower your forearm down to the mat. Clasp your hands together. So this is a forearm workout. So wrist friendly as well. So your elbows leveled with your shoulders. Extend to a plank position, forearm plank, and hold it that position. As you slowly twist, one the twist, tap one hip on one side, 
and then exhale back center and then twist to the opposite side and center five more twist four right center left three lower your hips tap the mat if you can two and one now back to your knees to rest we're gonna do some hip extension to challenge your glutes extending one leg so i'm starting with my left knee straight and slowly lift overhead as high as you can lift it pointing to the ceiling your toes so as you inhale lift with your knee straight exhale down straight tap the mat and lift up again as high as you can diagonally all the way to the elbow so my foot is pointing up straight line as you exhale down to the mat and lift balancing on your right knee down lift and down four more slow and easy as you lift exhale inhale down two more last one and down now switch it up with your right knee extended toes pointing away as you inhale exhale lift toes pointing to the ceiling inhale down lift exhale and down squeezing your core in engaging your core try not to twist your spine five more lift extend and reach three two and one now place your knees back to the mat we're going to extend again your left knee and this time as you lift you're going to lower it across your body opposite side of the mat and then exhale lift and tap outside of the mat same side so lift cross over exhale keeping your core engaged <sighs> squeezing your core in keeping your back in neutral don't round your shoulders try not to twist as you reach the other side <sighs> and Abel snoring a little bit loud my friends I know Abel four more Three, two, and one. So now place your knee back to the mat. We're extending your right knee now. As you lift and cross over towards the left, exhale, cross over and back to the same side. Inhale exhale squeezing your core in and blow through your mouth four more lift and out three two and one back to your hands and knees my friends to relieve the pressure of your elbows and this time we're going to do hand plank so we did the forearm plank earlier so this is a challenge as well on your arms as you extend both knees hips leveled with your shoulders lower it down and hold it in five deep breaths core engage feel that on your elbows as well and shoulders two more deep breaths last one then lower your knees down and child pose to rest your shoulders wrists and elbows five deep breaths in child pose and lower your head all the way down to rest
one last deep breath. Back to hand plank position. So hands leveled with your shoulders, knees leveled with your hips. Extend your knees now to a plank position. And from this position, we're gonna start hovering and shifting our body weight forward and back, keeping that pelvis level 10 times. 10, nine, shift your body weight, using your toes for momentum to shift your body weight. Five, four, three, two, and one, slowly lower it down. Back to child pose to rest wrists and hands. Last deep breath. As you go back to your hands in this position, we're going back again to hand plank, and we're gonna challenge from the hand plank position, we're gonna lift one leg at a time, alternating, keeping your knee straight as you lift to sink to one leg up and back down to plank, and then your right and down. As you lift, try your best to keep your pelvis level. Slow and easy, it's not about speed control. I don't want you to plop your foot down to the mat. Seven more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Great job, my friends. Lower your knees down. And back, back, go back to child pose to rest. Whew. Inhale. Exhale. Last two deep breaths. Last one. And back to your knees position as we're gonna slowly sit up from a deep squat, your hips. So I'm really pressing my feet down for a deep squat. Hands in front of you to stretch it. As you inhale, exhale, I'm pressing my knees out with my elbows and slowly lifting my chest out. Inhale and exhale. Two more deep breaths as I shift my body weight left and right to stretch my hips. Last deep breath, exhale. So slowly lift your hips off the mat and gently place your hips off your hips to slowly do a hip hinge. Now gently hold that hip hinge position, elbows all around, hands around your elbows. Slowly dip in further to stretch your low back. Slowly extend overhead your elbows Arms touching your ears as you exhale. Inhale, lower it down again, keeping your back in neutral. Don't round your shoulders to stretch hip hinge, focusing on your hamstrings and your glutes, not your back. As you lift your elbows overhead to your ears, exhale down. Three more. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Last one. And now gently reach behind you, clasp your fingers, slowly lift your hands pointing to the ceiling to stretch your shoulders as you lower yourself further down to a forward fold. Exhale, lower it down towards your hips. Inhale, lift. Feel that lovely stretch on your shoulders. Exhale, lower it back down to your hips. Feel that lovely stretch on your hamstrings, keeping your back in neutral. Lift. Exhale down. Two more. Lift. And exhale down. Now gently bend your knees slightly. Reach overhead and slowly Extend and twist on one side for a spinal twist, keeping your core engaged. 
Inhale, pointing straight again. As you exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale and exhale. Keeping your core engaged. Last one. Exhale to the right. Slowly stand up straight. As you slowly reach overhead and stretch, placing your hands behind you and stretch. And now we're gonna face you so you can see my next movement patterns. We're gonna do some standing exercises with your hands behind you. As you shift your body weight to the right, lifting your left knee up, core engage, and gently twist your body towards the left. So it's a lot of balancing and core. And as you inhale back center, exhale slowly lower your foot down. Now I'm shifting my body weight to the left. As I lift my right knee up towards my chest, high march. Exhale slowly, twist to the right. So it's a lot of balancing, slow and easy. It's not about speed, it's about control. This is core endurance and spinal stability movements. So shift my body weight to the right, lift my left knee. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back center. Exhale down. Now shift my body weight to the left. Lift my right knee. Twist my body to the right. <laughs> Able part while sleeping. Exhale down. Now shift my right foot. Lift my left knee. Twist to the left. Exhale back center. Slowly lower it down. Now shift my body weight to the left. Bend your knee slightly for support. Lift my right knee. High march, slowly twist my body to the right. Exhale, and then down. One more set to go. Shift, lift, and twist. Exhale, and down. Last one on this side. Shift my body weight to the left. Lift my right knee. Slowly exhale and twist, center and down. Okay, my friends, now we're gonna progress now by shifting your body weight again to the right. Lift your left knee and foot up with your knee straight to the side. And now gently twist your body to the right away. And then back center and then slowly lower it down. Now this time I'm shifting my body weight to the left. I say lift my right foot with my knee straight, balance, keeping my core engaged, and gently twist my body away. Balance. Exhale back center and then down. Great job, my friends. So this is a lot of balance and core. So you want to make sure you pull your belly button in as you lift this time my left foot up, knee straight. As I exhale, twist my body weight, my shift eye gaze to the right with my elbows bent, challenge my sp stability of my spine, back center and mobility, and down. Shift my body weight to the left, slowly lift my right foot up, knee straight, slightly bend my knee for support for those with balance issues, and slowly twist. If this is too difficult, you can use a table and just keep your hands on your side for support. Last set, shift to my right, Lift my left knee and foot up. Twist my body away towards the right for balance. Back center, slowly go down. Last set, shift my body weight to the left. Lift my right, core engage, twisting my body to the left. Exhale, back center and down. Great job, my friends. Now we're gonna do more core and stability and balance. So with my left knee forward, slightly bent, I'm shifting my body weight forward, keeping my back straight, gently hip hinge, a gentle lunge, because we're gonna do a dancer pose. We're shifting our body weight, my left knee, lifting my right foot slow and easy, and sl sl gently lift your hands for forward reach, 
and keeping my foot leveled with my hip as I slowly lower myself more. So it's challenging your hamstrings and core. Inhale and exhale. Slowly lower it down. As I shift my body weight to the right this time, turn my body to the right, slightly bend your right knee, shifting my body weight forward, slightly bend your right knee as I slowly lean forward, lifting my left foot up, balancing on my right foot, and gently overhead reach. Exhale. As high as you can, and then slowly lower it down to shift again to the other side to twist. Shifting my body weight to the left, slightly bend your knee. I'm using my toes on my right to balance before I let go and lift and gently overhead reach. As I said, you can use a table if you need to. Exhale down. Shift your body weight to the right. Bend your right knee. Lean forward gently first before you lift your left foot up to the level of your hip as high as you can and reach forward for more stability control challenge with your breathing and down. Whew, that was lovely. Okay, my friends, now open your knees out. We're gonna do some squats, hips leveled, making sure place your hands on your hips, gently bend your knees for plie, all the way down. As much as you can to deep squat, and as you exhale, up, extend. Inhale, down, exhale up. Squeezing your core in as you go down. Exhale up. Four more. Three. Two. And now we're gonna challenge our balance and core by gently keeping that squat hold and then overhead reach on one side. So I'm lifting my right hand towards my left as I exhale, placing it back to my hips. Left and right overhead reach. Feel that lovely hold on your hamstrings and inner thigh muscles. <sighs> Inhale, overhead reach. Exhale down, squeezing your core in for stability. Two more. Last one. And this time we're gonna progress by extending. As you extend, you overhead reach. And then as you place back center, you bend to squat and then extend and overhead reach, alternating left and right so bend extend and then reach to the opposite side bend to squat extend and overhead reach so i'm really going down for a deep squat and then gently extending overhead reach my toes are pointing away diagonally to keep those external rotators of your hips open and engage so down, extend and reach. Place your hands back to your hips to keep, to feel that stability. Overhead reach, two more to go. Deep squat, extend, overhead reach. Last one, deep squat, extend and overreach. Now gently place your hands again on your hips deep squat again and gently challenge your toe strength by lifting your heels off the mat simultaneously 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 and gently extend and reach and deep squat lift your heels so this is another variety. You can continue with our deep squat. So deep squat, lift your heels, extend, overhead reach, two more to go. Bend, lift, extend, and then reach. 
bend your knees deep squat lift your heels and then extend your knees reach last set to the other side bend deep squat lift your heels down extend and then overhead reach okay my friends now we're going down deeper on our deep squat position and we're going to do pulses up and down 10 times 10 small range nine feel the burn now eight seven six five four three two and one extend Woo, that was lovely now we are going to slowly roll back down to the mat swan dive so slowly reach overhead dive slowly keeping your vertebrae straight one vertebrae at a time so slowly reach down to the mat with your hands monkey walk forward plank position as you exhale slowly lower your hips down for an upward facing dog slowly bend your knees for a bow pose and extend to your back exhale down and then downward dog up monkey walk up again to a forward fold slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time for a standing position so we'll do this circuit five times so swan dive inhale exhale monkey walk inhale lower your hips down from a plank position to an upward facing dog exhale bend your knees to bow pose feel the stretch in your abdominal muscles and hip flexors exhale place your foot down grab the mat with your toes as you go back to downward dog and then gently monkey walk back forward fold position slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time to standing inhale overhead reach swan dive monkey walk forward plank position as you lower your hips down to upward facing dog exhale bend your knees to bow pose looking up bending your knees inhale grab the mat with your toes to go back to upward to downward facing dog monkey walk back forward fold slowly roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time two more sets to go swan dive reach forward fold keeping your back straight to monkey walk forward Exhale, slowly lower your hips down to upward facing dog. Bend your knees, toes pointing to the ceiling for a bow pose. Exhale, grab the mat with your toes to a downward dog. Monkey walk back. And we have one more set to go, rolling yourself up one vertebrae at a time to full standing. Last one, swan dive. Monkey walk forward plank position lower your hips for an upward facing dog while looking up bend your knees to bow pose exhale back to downward dog monkey walk yourself up and roll yourself all the way up okay my friends we're gonna do a lunge position left leg forward reach overhead lower your hips for this lovely yoga pose as you exhale slowly place your hands between your foot your left and your right and lower your right knee and gently stretch your hip flexor and then back switch it up with your right knee forward left knee between your hands your foot your right foot lower your left knee and feel that deep stretch now we're gonna slowly roll yourself back to the mat, lie on your back. And we're gonna do hundreds. So hundreds is a lot of core engagement and endurance. So hundreds is when you take five deep breaths in and five breaths, deep breaths out while tapping the mat, keeping your elbows and knees bent if you like, or lifted or in a Pilates stance with your knees straight. And this is day 29. Each one has different core strength and stability as long as you're not hurting your back. 
So with your elbows straight, lift your shoulders up. So these are different variety. So inhale, five breaths in. Hundreds means 100 breaths. One, two, three, four, five, in. Small breaths in. And five breaths out. Five breaths in. Five breaths out. If you can't keep your head up, you can put your head down. Continue with the breath work or put your foot down. If you're really not strong enough and if you're tired now, but for those who want the challenge, bend your knees, tabletop position, or in Pilates stance. Five breaths in. Five breaths out. 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 Almost done. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Last set. In. And now. Whoo! That was a nice core workout. That was really like keeping your abdominal muscles deep core activated endurance. Okay, my friends, we're gonna do bridging to counteract that lovely core workout. So lift your buttocks off the mat, inhale, and then exhale, slowly go down one vertebrae at a time. And let's challenge today on tippy toes this time. So with your heels up, for those who can challenge themselves, with slowly lift your buttocks off the mat and tippy toes, and exhale down. Eight more lift, but those who can't do with tippy toes, just continue with bridging. That's fine. Lift, squeeze your glutes and core in and down. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Squeeze as hard as you can in tippy toes position. Two. And one. Okay, my friends, let's challenge our core endurance more for a lovely roll up all the way up jackknife. So jackknife is lifting your hands, oh, lift, lifting your feet and knees overhead. So the starting position could be with your knees bent for those beginners. As you slowly roll yourself up, engaging your core, pointing your toes all the way up overhead. So if you have neck pain, be careful. As you slowly, toes pointing towards you to stretch your calf, feet apart for V position, and gently lower yourself one vertebrae at a time, control with your breath. So this is jackknife. As you go all the way down, make a big scoop forward. For those beginners, as I said, you can have your knees bent, but for those who want to challenge, you can have your knees straight, as you roll yourself up, inhale, toes pointing towards you, torso flex. Exhale, open your feet apart as you slowly lower yourself one vertebrae at a time and blow. And gently go all the way around. Exhale. Four more. Inhale, overhead, toes pointing towards you, torso flex. Open your feet apart as you slowly go down one vertebrae at a time. Exhale. Try not to plop as you go down. Exhale as you go all the way around, toes away from you. Three more. Lift, core engage, toes towards you, doors flex. Slowly go down one vertebrae at a time, control. Two more. Inhale and exhale up. Toes towards you, dorsal flex. Slowly go down. Two 
Last one. Jack knife. Inhale. Exhale up. Toes towards you. Feet apart. And slowly go down. One vertebrae at a time. Exhale. Whew, that was lovely work. And now we're going to do corkscrew. So corkscrew is when you're going to bend and extend your knees with your pelvis off the mat. And you can use your hands for beginners it's on your hips here to support. But if you have neck and thoracic pain, stop. It means you're not ready yet or it's not appropriate for you. So you're going to lift up, hold on. Use your hands to support for beginners. Try your best to keep your toes pointing to the ceiling. As you inhale, slowly lift to scissoring. One leg overhead and the other leg pointing to the ceiling. Exhale back center and switch it up. Slow and easy. Inhale, exhale. Keeping your core engaged. Inhale, back center as you switch. Five more. Stretch, challenge your core endurance. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Feels so good. Last set. And now from this position, try your best. Lift as high as you can, keeping it straight to the ceiling, and then V stretch. Open your feet apart and back center. Nine more. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And gently roll down one vertebrae at a time. We are cooling down now from some lovely roll up. Rolling like a ball. Sorry, able to start on you. <laughs> okay, so lift your feet off the mat, hug your knees. We're gonna roll like a ball, so the closer you are to your knees, that's great. Chin chuck, chin tuck, and roll down slow and easy. And roll up, it feels so good, like a self massage for a nice cool down. Chin tuck, roll, and up. You guys did amazing today on our core endurance spinal stability day 29. We have two more days to go, not just tomorrow. Tomorrow will be an easy restorative Pilates to prepare for our 31 days. Four more, chin tuck, roll back. Three, two, and one. Able start waiting for me. I'm gonna cool down now, sitting up straight. And arms out in a cross-legged position. We're gonna slowly twist and reach. It was a long workout today. I know day 29. I really challenge each one of you to keep going. And as I said, that if it's too difficult, you can always go to day one. Inhale and exhale, reach. You accomplished well today. It's amazing how much you can do in 30 days, 31 days. And if this is too difficult still, don't get discouraged. Always remember takes time. Each one is different under progression. There's other days you can go back to challenge each and every day until you can go to this level, alternating left and right. Last one on this side. And then place your hands behind you to stress your shoulders and slowly look up. And then twist in one side. And then the other. Two more to go. Slowing down our body. Taking time to restore and stretch is important. Now gently place your hands on your side, tilt your neck on one side. You did a lot of roll up, so you want to make sure you stretch your neck. If you get sore in your neck, it means you overdid it or you're using your neck muscles instead of your core. Last one. Now extend one leg. Gently arms overhead to slowly reach it for a single forward fold and slowly lower yourself. Overhead all the way through. 
slowly sit up, lean on your right elbow to overhead reach and stretch your ribs in the opposite side. And then gently reach again and overhead reach. Now let's switch it up to the other side, extend your other leg, overhead reach, reach on your elbows, lean and overhead reach. Inhale, reach and stretch, last deep breath. And that's it. I'm hoping you enjoyed day 29. We are almost there. If you love this video and want to learn more about Pilates, yoga, and physical therapy, health, and wellness, please subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell so you won't miss anything. Leave a comment down below. I want to hear some feedback on how you find my work out so I can better myself and how to instruct each one of you. I really appreciate all your efforts coming to this program and a feedback is greatly appreciated and leave a message down below as i said or directly in my social media and i'll try my best to answer each one of you always remember be safe be well and healthy you see you tomorrow for day 30 bye